So you guys welcome back to the new video and this is the third part of the series. So in this video, we are going to see that like what I, what is this function doing and what is the rest of the code doing. Okay, so let me explain to you that what actually this function is returning us and what type of coordinates are they. Okay, so just let me open my notepad. Okay, so this function like this function. So, so let me just select a brush here. Okay. okay, so this function like face cascade dot detect multi scale. It is uh, it, this uh, variable faces just means that this faces is a list, and this list is storing the coordinates of the face. So if I draw here, like if I draw faces, like like if this is a person here. And like if this is a person one, like person one, and if this is a person two. Okay, so these both are faces. Okay, so these are the top coordinates, like x, y are the top coordinates of the faces, and this is the width, this is the height. Okay, so a box it returns like this a detect multi scale returns a block to you, like it returns a box. In which we have the top left and we have the top left coordinates of x y and the height is h and the width is w okay so this function just returns x this function returns x y w and z sorry w and h x y w and h Okay, so these are the coordinates and by this W and H, we can just calculate that what are, what can be these coordinates, like this can be like X plus H and, w, and Y plus W, right? Like you can just calculate it by adding W and H in X and Y. So we can get this, these and this coordinate also. So this function is just returning as the coordinates so that we can just uh, make a box into the face, uh, uh, around the face. Okay, that's it about this. Let us move further. Okay, so now let us see that the further code. So this line like faces is sorted faces key lambda x2 into x3. So what is it is doing? So it is just arranging your faces. Like if you have multiple faces in the video feed, like if I show my face, my sister's face, my brother's face, my parents' face, my every my friend's face, so multiple number of faces will come, right? And we have to sort that faces in increasing or decreasing order as per our need. Okay, so what we are doing here is we are passing a function name sorted and we are just using using a lambda function. Okay, so in this uh, this line means that we are passing our faces list here. Like in this faces list, we have uh, x, y, h, and w coordinates uh, uh, numbers. Okay, and we pass this list here. And we are just calculating. So this means that okay. So like faces list is like if we have faces, then faces contains a list of x, y, w, and h. Okay. So it is zero index. This is one index. This is two index. This is three index. Okay. So the area of image is what area of any image is width into height. Okay, width into height and width into height basically here is faces 2 into faces 3. Okay, this is width into height and this is basically area. And the image which have larger area will obviously come first if we are sorting it in a decreasing order. And if the area is less, then it will come first in uh, the sorted order if we are sorting it in an ascending order. Right, so this, so in this here, so lambda x is just representing our faces, and we are just using the lambda function here. If you don't know, like what is lambda function, so let like just get a quick overview by seeing the documents, documentations. Okay, so x is representing this faces, and x2 into x3 basically is area of image, area of the face, or area of the box which has been made. Okay. And reverse is equal to two means which we are just uh, arranging this in a descending order. Like we are sorting it in a descending order, right? So and these like if we are having faces like this, first faces this, 
second phase is this third phase is like small phase then big phase then small phase then these all phases will be sorted in a descending order like first will come big then small then small then small okay so in this way we sort our phases and every data will be stored in this in this variable okay so i hope that you get a clear understanding of what we are actually doing here and now just forget this line as of now so now we are just we will just iterate to the every phases and we will just store every phase in our data so now we are we are just iterating in our phases array so uh, let us see that we are starting a for loop here and for loop is going till end okay and this x y w h is are the coordinates of the phase so phase and phases means that it is like this is phase 1 this is phase 2 this is phase 3 this is phase 4 like these are the phases and the coordinates of each and every phase will come in this x y w and h variables okay as we iterate over every phases then the uh, coordinates of every phase will come in x y w and h okay and this offset simply means that we are providing a padding so if you have done html before before you might know that what is padding what is what is margin so padding is basically a so if we are having our face here this is our face then this gap is basically padding okay so this gap is padding sorry for the handwriting uh, actually pen is quite bold here okay so if we are having a face here like and this is covered in a box then this box is having a padding of 5 okay so this length is basically 5 of 5 padding okay so we have just given the padding of 5 to like uh, show a clear user interface okay so as before we are just having this uh, this box as outer box which is at which we are having the coordinates x y and everything so now here we are just extracting the face section so this line is basically extracting the section of a face so it is subtracting the offset so basically it is subtracting the padding and it is just uh, calculating a particular section of a face initially there was padding and now we are just calculating the particular section of the face okay and after that like you will see you can understand this easily like we are just subtracting offset from left from uh, top and bottom and subtracting from left and right okay we are just subtracting over padding and just getting the section of face by this line okay just go through it once and by this face selection we are just resizing over face to 100 cross 100 image okay so i hope that you understand it and now this skip so this skip just means that when we start recording over face then after every second our skip after every second or after every iteration this skip will increment okay like we have recorded one first phase second phase third phase like a particular uh, time frame of the phase is being recorded by this skip by the skip frame okay so after every 10th phase like uh, when i started the recording my when i started recording my phase so i recorded at first second 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 third second Fourth second, I am recording my face at every second. Okay, so when I read the tenth second of camera, I will just do a skip operation. Okay, and after every tenth phase, I will be recording this tenth phase into my array. Okay, I will be recording each tenth iterated phase in my array, so that I don't have many faces in my array, and I have a good feed rate and a good video feed to. like recognize later so as you can see that like after each 10th 10th iteration i am just appending my face into the face data and just printing the length of face that's it and after and after that we will do in the next video before that just go through everything which i have shown so let's meet in the next video till